Welcome and thanks for taking a tour of ArcServe Unified Data Protection version 6. In this video we will take a look at the copy to tape task. Let's start by opening the downloader, accepting the licensing agreement. Users now have the option to participate in ArcServe's product improvement program shaping the future versions of ArcServe products. ArcServe will unobtrusively collect product specific usage statistics to better understand customer needs. This is an optional program and customers can opt out of the program after joining. Now we will choose which product we wish to install. Let's add the ArcServe backup product. Select Next, choose our download destination, and download. Now that our download is complete, we can select Next and choose either Express or Advanced Installation for ArcServe Backup. Express Install will install using the default configuration settings, whereas Advanced Installation will run each component installation package separately to specify configuration settings. In our case, let's just go with Express Install. Under Account Configuration, we'll provide our credentials, our ArcServe Backup Domain, and a password, and select Install. Now that our installation is finished, we will go ahead and select Finish, and we can now launch ArcServe Backup for configuration. When we log in, we will provide our credentials, choose our Windows credentials, and select to remember the security information. Select OK, and now ArcServe Backup will be launched. Within ArcServe Backup, Let's navigate to the administration section and make sure that our tape device was found. We'll select device and you'll see that our tape device has already been discovered. Now let's go to the UDP console to finish configuring the tape backup integration. Under the resource tab, under ArcServe Backup Servers, we will add an ArcServe Backup Server. Provide the node name or IP address and the credentials to connect to it. We can now see that the library was added and if we click on it and select it, we can see the slot information. Now let's modify a backup plan under all plans and let's choose a plan that we wish to modify. Let's take a look at our agentless plan. Let's add a task Select a task will be copy to tape. Our source will be the task backup from our host based agent list. We're going to be moving over our daily backups as we did not set up weekly or monthlies. And there is a note. To support file and folder a granular restore from tape, please go to the schedule of task 1, backup host based agent list to enable file system catalog for daily backups. We did not enable cataloging originally, so we will not have the file folder granular restore capabilities here. However, this is a quick fix. We can just go to the first task, choose our schedule, and select ca generate catalog file. Now going back to copy to tape, for our destination, we will choose the ArcServe lab. For the media group, we'll choose the media group that we have. Do we want to multiplex? Do we want to use encryption? Or do we want to use software compression? Choose our schedule. We'll add a copy to tape schedule. Let's take the default, save it. Our recovery point retention will be seven days. And we can choose to append to existing tapes or copy to separate tapes. Under the advanced tab, we'll be able to select how to handle the media upon completion, set up backup verification, run a command before the copy tape job is started or after, provide credentials, and set up email notifications. We will then save 
and our plan modification will be deployed. This concludes our tour of ArcServe Unified Data Protection version 6 tape integration. We saw how to download and configure ArcServe Backup and then add a tape copy task to UDP. We will have additional videos covering adding tasks and features like the new gateway and instant virtual machine, plus a set of videos for Linux backup and instant bare metal recovery. For more detailed information, please review the content on ArcServe.com or you can contact and chat with an ArcServe sales representative.